This is a story police and the Child Welfare Office in Adams County are not going to like. That's because we're talking about it and they don't want to. At the center of this story is a six year old boy who has not only failed in life, but in death too. He was a Spider Man fan, loved wrestling with his older brother, and loved his tricycle. We'd like to tell you Andres Estrada lived in a stable home, went to school, and did well. But sadly, that's not how the story goes in Federal Heights. He was out most of the nights, uh, probably until like about nine or so. I mean, most kids were in by their home, and he was about the only kid out on the block. Nine Wants to Know found an alarming pattern of no supervision and possible neglect in this home. Social services documented 11 referrals with concerns that he was missing many days of school, showed up to class extremely dirty, and was still wearing diapers at age six. Police dispatch reports show routine complaint calls from neighbors, even one call from a child welfare caseworker. Seven times, seven times police were told about the little boy in the street. After all the calls and all the warnings, Heck, well, we get any calls of a possible auto pit. Andres rode his tricycle for the last time. There's an emergency, this little kid, I just stepped outside, this kid just got hit by a car. On August 24, 2010, Andres Estrada lost his little life after he was hit by the driver of this white van. His tricycle crushed, Andres was pronounced dead in the street. The driver was found not at fault, an accident that everyone on this street saw coming. We are not child welfare experts. Maybe police and caseworkers had good reason to give Andres's mother routine breaks. We just want to know, could he have been better protected? Hi, it's, uh, my name is uh, Jeremy Hohola with uh, Nine News. I'm looking to see if I could speak with the chief of police. But Federal Heights police won't answer those questions. Was that the one two or three years ago? Yes. The department has no comment on that. Okay, uh, I, that's not acceptable at this point. We really like to speak with the chief in person. The Adams County Child Welfare Director wouldn't meet with us either. Yeah, we've been told by the county attorney's office you guys are not talking because of privacy laws, but that's, that's not good enough for us. We'd like to have you explain that on camera, why you can't talk. Uh, I've been told that the department has no comment. The department doesn't have any comment? No. Why, why is that? Uh, sir, I'm just a dispatcher. That's okay. the only thing I'm going to tell you is the department has no comment, okay? I don't think confidentiality helps kids. It helps the system. Attorney Phyllis Rostenberg represented children in legal matters for several years. She's not surprised at the lack of transparency, a common theme in child welfare cases that end badly. I think invoking confidentiality and invoking the privacy laws is it's simply it, it deflects obviously from responsibility and accountability. I, I don't think it serves families. I don't think it helps kids. And I think it just makes the system feel more comfortable and insulated from the accountability of what they're doing. We went looking for Andres's mother too for her side of the story. I'm looking for Myrna Estrada. We couldn't find her, but we found her cell phone number. Busco por Mirna Estrada. A family member said Myrna Estrada cannot mentally comprehend a television interview and wouldn't comment either. Failed in life and perhaps failed in death, Andres Estrada never had a chance. Before you go, I'm going to leave a photograph of Andres Estrada here in the lobby uh, just to remind you of why we're putting pressure on your department for transparency in this case. Not only did neglect complaints in the Estrada home get lost while he was alive, so did the criminal investigation into his death. More than two years after we started asking questions about this case, Federal Heights Police finally handed over a case to the DA's office in Adams County, but we've learned that Don Quick will not prosecute partially because of the mother's mental state and partially because there was not enough evidence for neglect.